I went the first year to the University of Pennsylvania because that was the fellowship that Frankel got for me. There I had wonderful teachers, for example, Hans Rademacher, famous, and Schoenberg, and, and somebody called Israel, I forget his last name, a, an algebraist. I studied a lot of very interesting mathematics. But I knew that the center of computing is Princeton, and I have to get there, and I applied to the Department of Mathematics at Princeton. I didn't realize at the time how selective they were. At the time, and even now, they admitted only 13 graduate students each year. They had a committee that uh, examined the applications. Later on, when I was on the Princeton faculty, somebody told me he was on my admissions committee and he read my algebra paper, which was published in... The if and only if, uh, continuation of uh, the uh, uh, theorem. theorem. Problem. And that made it, and in fact they admitted me and gave me a substantial fellowship. So I went to Princeton. I was a student and assistant to Alonzo Church, and I worked on computability connected with algebra. And my thesis, which I did in a very short time, was on unsolvability of group theoretic problems. Princeton at the time, I'm sure even now, was a wonderful, wonderful environment with students of mine, half of whom became very eminent mathematicians later on in their career. I got my PhD in record time in two years and was hired as a fine instructor on the faculty of Princeton. One day, I come to the department, they are all excited, and they said to me, Michael, Kurt Gödel came from the institute in person. Kurt Gödel didn't like telephones. He had that uh, more or less paranoia, and he had the feeling that people are listening to to his telephone conversations. So he came in person and he wants to offer you, he has heard about your PhD, and he wants to offer you a position with him as his assistant at the Institute for Advanced Study. So I went and saw Gödel. I said, I'm very interested. And I came to an agreement with the chairman in Princeton that in my second year at Princeton, I spent a half a year or more with Gödel. With Gödel at the Institute while keeping my fine instructorship.